Bombshells, Nyla here with Bombshells with Nyla as a blonde. So yesterday I did a short little video on um, the actual results of how I achieved my blonde hair, but I had to use my um, iPhone and hold it because my SD card just, I don't know what happened to it, but those suckers are expensive. So I wasn't too happy about it and I'm so glad that I had taken all my footage off of them before that happened. So anyway, I'm going to do another video today um, just so that you guys, I can go through each step that I did in order to get from that magenta bright red. And mind you, I was a brunette first to this color. And what I did first and foremost was I did a vitamin C mixed with just my ordinary shampoo. I, um, I think I was using the Big Sexy shampoo that comes in the pink container and it's I don't have it down here but I'll put the link below so I just crushed up a bunch of vitamin C's added my shampoo to it and then put it in my hair uh, about two or three times to get this to strip as much of the red out as I could and I think I had a video for you but of course I deleted it so that was step number one step number two was I got the Goldwell color remover and I mix two little bottles, it comes with two little bottles, you mix them up and you just put it all over your hair. It didn't do much as far as taking out a lot of the color from my hair, it was really patchy, um, so you know, it wasn't that great of a job, but it did, uh, when I was washing it, a lot of the color did wash out and I washed it with super hot water. So that's what you want to do. Okay, so the third thing I did after that was I did the bleach treatment. And so I took my Agora Bleach uh, Blonde Vario um, and then I mixed it with uh, 40 volume um, and I put a quarter ounce of Olaplex, 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 Olaplex into that mixture but I mixed the uh, powder and the liquid developer first and then you add the Olaplex and then you mix it up. I put that all over my head. Um, I left though my roots and the ends because I was afraid that they might fry off and the roots would die um, or brighten up a lot quicker than the rest of my hair. So I did that and I left it in the foils for about 20 minutes as you saw in the video and then my sound went out. My mic wasn't plugged in and I sure hope it's plugged in now. Let me just check. And so uh, you guys couldn't hear what I was doing but I let the foils stay on for about 20 minutes. As soon as I finished all the foils in the midsection, then I started to do the roots and then I started to do the ends, okay? And so I did that and what I ended up with was um, still a, a lot of the red had stayed. Um, there was dark red on the inside. My roots were still a little bit dark. It was peach. It was still um, a multitude of colors. I had some dark spots up here, some dark spots over here. And so even though I said I was going to wait 10 days, I didn't. I waited about 10 minutes. No, just kidding. I waited about two hours. I co put coconut oil in my hair. I let it saturate. I put Olaplex number two, which is the bond perfector that you get in the little travel kit with the Olaplex. And I let that sit in my hair for a couple of hours and then I just couldn't take it. Like I was like, okay, I got to do this. So I did what you call a bleach wash, where you put your shampoo, your bleach, your developer, I put some Olaplex in it, and conditioner, mixed it all up, and I shampooed my hair with that, okay? But actually, I left it on for about 10 minutes, and I felt it kind of burning my scalp, and I said, F this, and I washed it out. Because the last thing I wanted, I've heard horror, horror stories about people getting burns on their scalp. Now, I have none, so I'm, like, stoked that... I was be was able to achieve this color without burning my scalp. Okay, so then after that, I did another bleach treatment. Even though my mom was saying, "Don't do it, don't do it," I was like, "I know." But what I what I ended up after the bleach wash was, and then um, I actually. So after the bleach wash, I I did another bleach. Okay, so Olaplex. Uh, 30 developer and the bleach. Okay, I did that 
and I came out and I, it was kind of like a rosy gold and actually I put a picture up and I'm, I'll put a picture up in this video of that so it was really kind of a nice color but you know what you know when you want something so bad and if it's not what you want then it's just not good enough up here well that's where I was at I liked it it was a pretty color but I could still see like strands of pink and peach and but overall it was looked like a kind of like a strawberry blonde and I didn't want that like I just did not want that so the next day I did another bleach with bleach 40 developer and Olaplex so imagine you guys I bleached my hair about four or five times in like two or three days and I had no breakage and the thing is is that I saw a piece right about here that was kind of getting all kinked up and so uh, what I did was I took my Olaplex 2 Bond Perfector, like you guys, this stuff is miracle stuff. And I put some in there and it just, I, like I put the conditioner while I had the bleach in my hair on the ends and stuff. And it worked like a charm. It, my hair did not break. So I left that on for about 20 minutes, washed out my hair and it was quite blonde, but I still had a light peachy salmon in certain spots like here and here you can kind of still see a little bit but it's very little so then I finally uh, did a bit more research and I went to um, Sally's or Chatters or one of those places and I got Wella toner in T14 and I toned my hair and this is the result. So I only used one of those bottles. I told you yesterday that I got two, but I only used one of them. I'm obviously saving um, it for another time. But see, now as you can see, my hair is a nice blonde. It doesn't look red. It doesn't look yellow. It doesn't look orange. My roots are all nice. Um, and so that's how I achieve this look. And so the whole point of this is that you guys, you really can do this at home, but I am not going to give you the suggestion to do this at home because I wouldn't want to hear about people's hair falling out. Like, this is my hair. I took chances. I've been doing my own hair for years and years and years. I'm telling you, I've done better jobs on my hair than most stylists. I can't even explain the horror stories that I've had, like even with a stylist blow drying my hair and not knowing how to use a round brush. So. I can tell you from my own experience that I feel a lot safer doing my own hair rather than going into a salon and just letting a stranger, not knowing my hair type, not knowing what I've put my hair through, I know what I've put my hair through. And um, so obviously my hair is a little bit dry, I'm not going to lie, it is a little bit dry, but look, it's not that bad. And the reason that I don't even have it in like with conditioner and, and um, coconut oil on it right now is because I wanted to do this video so I could explain from beginning to end and I also want to tell you guys about what I'm going to do to keep it conditioned until the next time I blow dry it. So I will be back in just two shakes you guys and I'm going to explain that all to you. Okay hey guys I'm back. Okay so I'm just going to tell you that if you guys could see the mess I've got going in front of me. I'm not going upstairs so this is clean but let's get back to keeping your blonde hair nourished and conditioned and healthy so like I said my hair is quite dry it's not so bad I blow dried it twice since I uh, I've had it blonde and I shouldn't be doing that but I'm doing that because I oh my ears um, because I want to make these videos and you know who wants to look like shit on video so what I'm gonna tell you to do if you go straight from a dark to a blonde in, a, in just a matter of days, you do it yourself, is you want to get a spray bottle like this, um, just a regular spray bottle. This is looks really dirty because I've got stuff in it. And what you want to do, and oh, you guys, I just want to show you how much of my Olaplex I used. Look, I've got that much left. And I don't care because it's my hair. The integrity of my hair remained perfect so if I gotta use a hundred dollar bottle of Olaplex I will okay um, I'm not gonna have to bleach my hair for a long time again unless I do my roots and that just takes very 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 little bleach so I'm not too worried about it okay so what you want to do to keep your hair nourished is you get a sc uh, spray bottle and you're just gonna open it up and I've already got a mixture in here okay and what I do is I put about a quarter 
maybe sometimes even a little bit more like a half an ounce of Olaplex in in my bottle I put um, maybe three three parts water to one part Olaplex and then I put in my number two like this whole bottle is empty too and it's got bleach stains all over it um, and then I put about uh, half an ounce of the Olaplex number two bomb perfecter into my spray bottle and mix it all up and then I generous, generously spray my hair until it is saturated. Now what you want to do is on top of that, which is probably something I'm going to do, is I will also put a coconut oil in there with it and then I'll sleep with that overnight, put my hair in a braid and I probably won't style my hair for like a week. Um, and try not to wash it. I know that sounds gross, but you know what? I I work from home and I put my hair up in a bun. Nobody can, you know, nobody can tell. But it's only because only because I want to keep my hair um, so that I don't have to do that every day. If I do it for like a week straight, and I I can wash my hair, but no heat styling. Absolutely zero heat styling like I've already done twice because you, your hair still has the ability to break when you heat style it especially if it's weaker like you've just taken all the nutrients out of your hair so that's one thing I do okay another thing is I went and I got of course I ordered this online it's like the best conditioner ever it's called Evo Fabuloso and it's for platinum blonde it's a color intensifying conditioner I'm gonna show you what color it is so I'll just put a little bit on my hand here and see how purple that is so that's gonna um, cancel out any oranges yellows any um, you know colors that you have in your hair that need to be toned down this conditioner is going to do it and sorry I'm just gonna wipe my hand on that piece of paper so that's the conditioner I ordered now I did not order the shampoo however I wish I did because this is a really good product but instead I went out and got I went to a beauty salon or a salon um, store and I got matrix total results so silver okay so it's called color obsessed shampoo to neutralize yellow in your hair so I'm gonna show you actually a little bit of this it's the exact same color as the conditioner so you can imagine these two together are gonna do wonders to cancel out any yellow in my hair or even the orange and even it did it even helped get rid of the stain of the salmony pink that I had the residue left over in my hair so conditioning with Olaplex water and number two bond perfector and everyday shampooing or every other day or however often you shampoo your hair use purple shampoo and purple conditioner like I said I use the matrix total results so silver and the Evo Fabuloso oh my favorite platinum blonde uh, conditioner and it smells amazing so those are two other things that I do and um, I did mention that coconut oil is a very important saturate your hair on a nightly with coconut oil and then you can put your hair in two Dutch braids or you know whatever's cute like you don't you know I'm gonna do a tutorial on Dutch braids but I it's taken me a long time to learn how to do them it's very tiring on your hands but I am gonna do that tutorial for you guys um, if any of you are like me I'm an avid winter sports girl and so um, you know you don't want to do your hair when you're when you're out there snowboarding or skiing or whatever so um, this this year, this winter, I'm going to be doing a lot of French braids, a lot of Dutch braids, um, you know, pigtails, anything that'll keep my hair out of my face and that will, um, so I don't have to damage. Like the winter air is already so drying and damaging to your hair, especially if you live in a very dry climate. So that's another tutorial that I'm going to do. So anyway, you guys, that was my journey from red magenta hair using L'Oreal color high color and high lift in magenta the first time I did it I used red and magenta mixed okay after that I would just do my red roots with magenta and then I would do manic panic in vampire and um, yeah so I was doing that for for quite a few months probably more than 10 
and it was a bitch to get out, but I got it out. So I'm super stoked and I'm super happy and I hope that you guys learned something from the videos that I made and my journey from red hair to blonde hair. And if there's any questions, please do not hesitate to put them in the link um, in the spots below where you can leave comments. I do appreciate all of you that have left comments. I appreciate all my subscribers that watch my videos. And um, again, September, end of September, I'm going to have a big giveaway. So get your friends to subscribe. And um, like I said, if I reach 100, big giveaway. And you guys rule. Love you. You rock. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, like. Peace out, you guys.